know, I grew up in the in the 60s. My my dad was involved in the civil rights movement. You know, 1968 was a pretty bad year. You know, Dr. King was killed. Robert Kennedy was killed. Um, the, we've had divided times before. 1932, the reading of the months leading up to the election and the inauguration of Franklin Roosevelt, the country was on the brink uh, in both socialist and fascist uh, parts of the country were pushing, pushing, pushing. So I just think that the United States has a way partly due to the strength of its founding documents, the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and the, the Civil War Amendments and the resolution of that uh, uh, difficulty uh, to, to push through. And I also feel that if you tell poor kids in poor communities in, in America, minority kids, African-American kids, that there's no chance, there's no opportunity, the American dream is dead, then it will be dead because people will believe that. And it's not true. There's lots of opportunity. There's lots of opportunity for people to move up. I had, I met somebody last night. It's a young new congressman, Democrat from Prince George's County, Maryland, black. You know, the the, the country is is um, more open and more positive with regard to the fact that we've absorbed so many. Um, we have such great diversity. We should be positive about that and be be proud of that as opposed to let it, making it sort of turn us against each other. So no, I'm, I'm, uh, we'll get through and, and we'll get, you know, William Faulkner said, you know, we not only will endure, we will prevail. And that's how I feel.